Hi, I'm Joe from Garmin. Today we're going to talk about the advanced running dynamics available on your compatible Garmin device when used with the chest-worn HRM Run monitor. To view the running dynamics measurements, put on the HRM Run and make sure it's paired to your watch. During your running activity, scroll down until you see either of the running dynamics screens. The color gauge applies to the top metric. The position of the pointer on the gauge indicates how your value compares to other runners. Stride length is shown in the post-run summary on some models or as a data field so you can see your stride length in real time as you run. After your run, you can review your stride length chart on Garmin Connect to see how your stride length varies with pace, cadence, elevation, or another metric. Next is vertical ratio, a metric that reflects running efficiency or how well you propel yourself forward. By the numbers, vertical ratio is your vertical oscillation, or amount of bounce, divided by stride length, expressed as a percent. It is a cost-benefit ratio for running. Stride length is the distance traveled horizontally. It is the benefit. This horizontal travel requires some amount of vertical motion that is not moving you toward your destination. It is the cost of traveling forward. So a low number for vertical ratio indicates a small cost for a large benefit. And that's right where you want to be for efficient running. Finally, there is ground contact time balance, a measure of your symmetry when you run. Most running coaches agree that a symmetrical running form is desirable. With your device, you can monitor the balance between your left and right ground contact time as you run. This metric is computed by dividing the ground contact time of the current step, left or right, by the total ground contact time of the last two steps, left and right. The data can be shown a couple of different ways based on the size of your data fields displayed on your watch. In this example, the runner is spending more time on the ground when on the left foot. Through development and testing, Garmin found correlations between injuries and greater imbalances in ground contact time for certain runners. As with previous running dynamics metrics, Garmin has collected data from a range of runners of varying abilities and experience to determine typical ranges for these new metrics. The color gauges on screen and the charts in Garmin Connect give you an indication of how your values compare to other runners. Select the question mark next to the charts on Garmin Connect for more information about the color gauges and to see how you compare to other runners.